So in this case, they can actually fit right into the center of them. They can walk through them and you'll find, whoo! <laughs> Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi Piggy Peeps! I just wanted to bop in tonight um, with another Tuesday tip. It's been a little while since I've been with you since last week. Things have been so crazy. Unbelievable. But um, that aside, I wanted to have a quick word with you about different types of food bowls. So food bowls. There's um, a variety of food bowls that I have seen and have come across over the years and of course they are more efficient or more effective depending on which one you're actually using. So let's just run through a few of them so you have more of an idea about what will work best in your cage and also what will actually keep your cage cleaner because um, piggies will actually run through them, knock them over and uh, cause all sorts of problems. So first bowl, let's have a look. Um, quite often I see when we have surrenders, sorry I've got my finger then the camera when we have surrenders lots of bowls often come in with with the guinea pigs and in this case it's a little plastic bowl um, now the problem with using plastic bowls like this is that the guinea pigs will actually knock them over so they'll walk over them they'll tip them over you'll find them in different locations you'll lose the food contents and uh, they're, they're really ineffective so anything that's light plastic and bowl like very lightweight is just simply not going to withstand your guinea pigs in your cage. Now this is a, a little bowl that is, it's got a lipped edge to it. Can you see that? Let me see. I can get that. It has like a flat round edge. It's a ceramic bowl and it's very very heavy. So anything that's ceramic I highly recommend. Firstly because it can be cleaned really well but secondly they're not going to knock it over. <laughs> And lose the contents. So we have another bowl. Check this one out. This is another ceramic bowl. Again really great, um, really heavy. It's not going to move and it'll be really stable but the problem here is the size of this bowl and it's simply too big. It's too big for guinea pigs. So in this case they can actually fit right into the center of them. They can walk through them and you'll find, whoo, <laughs> you'll find a bowl like this just getting filthy all the time so it's really easy for them it's really um, easy for them to walk through and uh, then of course to to um, make that bowl really dirty you can find smaller ceramic bowls like this check this one out this is really great for corners of cages so you can actually fit it neatly into the corner because they can't walk through it it actually stays cleaner so you'll actually find that these sorts of bowls work a lot better. But again, they're ceramic. They won't get moved around as much. Um, they're not available everywhere. You really have to hunt around for them. But a triangular bowl like this will work really, really well for you. And uh, lastly, the best bowl I have found um, is this one. Now, it's a ceramic bowl again. It's really, really um, heavy. So it won't relocate or move but you'll notice it's actually shallow so it's not it, it hasn't got the full depth of the bowl so with this the guinea pigs really find it fantastic for things like water and liquids as well as for food and you'll find there's no food ever left over when you've got a deeper bowl you'll actually find lots of um, grit and often poop <laughs> and other things at the bottom of the bowl. But when it's shallow like this, a shallow bowl, you'll actually find they eat all of the contents and it's nice and clean and um, ready to go again. So um, that sort of bowl works really well. If you have some favorite bowls, I'd really like to see them. So I'd ask you to pop them in the links down below. At the end of the day, you want a bowl that's going to be stable that's not going to move, that won't tip over and flip over, but also that the contents are easily accessible. So the shallow one I showed you at the end is really fantastic for, for any cage environment for them. So I highly recommend it.